a professional 2-0 win at home once again against Nottingham Forest. To be honest, the first half, in my opinion, was not the best that we could have played. But I didn't expect us to go out guns blazing. I expected us to control the game, which we did. I expected us to be dominant on the ball, which we did. And come to think of it, a lot of the players looked focused. You would have expected some of them to maybe drop the ball, in a sense. Mainly because of the fact that it was a dead rubber game. We were already through to the final of the Carabao Cup. This win just confirmed it. Ten Hag said Sancho was back in the squad, and that he was. And he looked a completely different player. Smiling, loved being on the pitch again. And it was good to see that a player who has been through so much, physically and mentally, has come a long way thanks to Ten Hag and his coaching abilities and also his man management skills. He didn't just tell Sancho either work hard or leave. He gave him a personalized program to get him back to this point. Now it is up to him to reach the level that Ten Hag expects him to reach, that we as United fans expect him to reach. If he can at least fulfill 70% of that potential, it will be an absolutely beautiful thing to see. He's basically going to be like a new signing. Ten Hag played him in the number 10 behind Martial when coming on. And that in itself was a thought that Ten Hag will be trying new tactics. Bruno we've seen constantly on the right hand side, sometimes on the left. And Lindelof even came on playing in defensive midfield. Now, it's not to say that Ten Hag is trying things because he wants to be funny. No, he's doing it because he knows that he can. For those who don't know, Lindelof did play as a defensive midfielder at Benfica before he came to Manchester United. He's not just a centre-back. And that's where Marcel Savitzer also comes in. Versatility in playing in different positions that allows Ten Hag to be flexible in his tactics, in his formation, in, his, in how the team is set up. Rashford, Martial and Sancho seems a dream front three. Ten Hag brought them all three on together last night. In my opinion, it was because we did not get the penalty that we were supposed to get when Vegost was correctly fouled in the box, but they didn't give it. It was immediately after that that these three came on. And that in itself is scary. Because if the three of them click, if the three of them connect and play well, as Ten Hag expects them to, because I believe that he probably wants Sancho and Anthony to compete on the right-hand side, and Sancho having that versatility in playing in the number 10 position. Ten Hag is incredible. We should call him Mr. Incredible for the amount of work and change that he has brought into the club. Within six months, we find ourselves in a cup final. Now, you can say Arteta did the same thing, but the circumstances at our club was more dire than what it was at Arsenal. You could say it was easier for Arsenal to get to the point where they are now, considering they have owners who are willing to buy players. We always had the disadvantage of the owners that we have. And yes, they are leaving. And that leaves us with a positive future, as I said. Sabitzer officially unveiled. He was in the stadium yesterday and definitely enjoyed what he saw. And probably saw where he was going to play and what he will definitely do for the team. It just fits the way that his persona looks in a Manchester United jersey. It's very important that we see what type of player Ten Hag wants at the club. It's not players who want to come to have a holiday, no. It's players who find themselves in the prime in their career and want to win trophies. Ten Hag has done an amazing job and all that he can do is progress from here. And he will. Look at the work that he has done thus far. It is only testament to his commitment and his dedication to getting us back to the top. Everyone will be talking about us, not just for the next six months, but also for seasons to come. Because Ten Hag isn't building a team for now. 
He's building a team for the future, a team that can be sustainable in winning.